One common need in um, VR post-production is putting a title on your project. Um, it should be easy enough to go to graphics and titles and then new layer text, um, but you will very quickly find uh, that it creates some problems. First of all is just figuring out where did it go? <laughs> so our new text layer appears um, and if, you're, uh, if you have toggle VR video display on, you can scroll around and see that it's, it's on a portion of the footage. Um, perhaps, you know, you maybe even put it on and didn't see it at all and you had to scroll around to find it. Um, but uh, then you'll notice that it looks curved. It looks like it's sort of attached to the inside of a cylinder or a sphere, which indeed it is. This is spherical video, but the text is flat, so it's just kind of been pasted on the interior of a, of a VR sphere here. Um, now, if you like that look, I guess that's okay, but I think uh, we ought to be able to take control of, of our choices and, and adjust if need be. So um, you, uh, you might also run into a problem where let's say you weren't making a title, but you wanted to make like subtitles or something like that. And you think like, okay, well then I should just pull it down in the lower third or something. But as you um, pull uh, any kind of flat footage, but in this case titles, closer and closer to one of the poles, you'll see it gets really warped and it never actually goes under as you might expect. It just gets more and more curved and more and more stretched until it disappears out the bottom. Um, so that's a problem. We don't want uh, the text to work this way. We want it to work um, more uh, like we would expect um, to just have a floating flat text in the VR space. So um, one problem we have is, uh, is this curvedness and, um, and it getting sucked down into the void. The other problem, uh, more at a basic level, is just like, how do I edit this? <laughs> and so if you are in the toggle VR video display, you can uncheck that and um, make edits uh, here, as you might expect in the equirectangular mode. Um, so if we give this a, uh, a movie title and maybe we make it um, a little longer just to introduce a problem. <laughs> um, now, if you go into um, your VR display, you'll notice that it stops, which is yet another issue. We, we would expect it to be able to wrap around, but because I went off the edge here, um, that's uh, that's the reason for the, the cropping there. So um, what we are going to do is prepare our title to work in a better way with VR video. So we're going to twirl this text layer down um, and make some adjustments. Um, one is that you can uh, choose your font size here. Um, so that's useful uh, to remember. Um, but two is maybe we, we wanted that large font size, we just needed a different location. So we're going to, um, instead of left align, we're going to center align our text um, so that we're more centered. And now we can take up uh, more of the frame if we feel that's, um, that's the look we're after. So then when we toggle VR video display um, and uh, take a look around, you can see um, <clears throat> your title. Um, but again, it's, it's circling us um, and uh, far too big to read and I don't like this uh, concaveness. So we're going to fix that with a kind of uh, helper effect called VR Plane to Sphere. And what this does is takes planar video um, or flat video and make it spherical video or VR video. Um, so we drag it on there and now we've got uh, something that, that's gonna function a little more like we expect. The big trick though with VR Plane to Sphere is we need to make all of our adjustments inside VR Plane to Sphere. So we're not going to try to adjust position on, on here. It'll create the same problems that it did before. Um, and we don't wanna adjust scale on here either because as you can see, that creates the, the cropping problem. Um, we're going to make those kind of adjustments here under VR Plane to Sphere. So scale can be adjusted there, though I will say with um, font size, you would get uh, resolution fuzz problems around the edges. So you might want to make that adjustment under font size um, if you need to. 
Um, so maybe we'll, we'll pull that up just a little bit. And then under VR plane to sphere, we're going to do our, um, our rotations. So I'm gonna suggest rotate projection is what you're likely after. If we wanted that subtitle look, um, we would use the X axis to come down partway. Um, we can actually come all the way down just to prove that it works um, as expected. It doesn't, it doesn't get sucked into the void like it did before. Um, or we could keep it on the horizon or obviously put it anywhere we like. Um, you can move uh, around you know, the, um, the equator with the y-axis or you can even rotate on the z-axis. Um, this uh, can be complicated when you start putting more than one um, direction in uh, at a time. So you might have to use multiple to sort of even things out and find your horizon. Um, but uh, finally, the, the just best practices that I think um, works out well for VR, you can't always guarantee where someone will be looking. So if this is where your title comes up, but uh, I'm looking back here because I was just interested in what was going on back here, I've missed the title. Or um, your subtitles maybe if you're translating someone from another language or something like that. So I highly advise that you duplicate titles. I'm gonna copy and select my video three and um, stick it up on top. And then this one um, is gonna get rotated uh, 180 degrees in the other direction. Um, I guess that would be on the Y, so that whichever way I'm looking, I'm likely to be able to read it. Um, and uh, plus, you know, maybe throw a stroke outline around it in case um, you're getting <laughs> it unreadable against white backgrounds. But, um, but yeah, that's the basics of getting a title to work the way you expect it to in VR video.